What's up guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the sound from Blinding Lights by The Weeknd in Arteria Pigments. So here's a one shot of the sound. I'm only going to play the one shot because I don't want to risk any kind of um, copyright strikes. Alright, let's get to it. Once you open up Pigments, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and initialize the patch by going to this drop down menu and selecting new preset. So then you're going to be brought to this wavetable here. That's the default. Um, however, for this tutorial um, and for this sound, um, we're going to be using the analog engine. So both oscillators one and two is going to be a saw wave. We're going to bring this volume down to negative 26 dB, 26.2 to be exact. So then we're going to bring this oscillator to negative 11.6 dB. So we're going to go ahead and bring it up to that. All right. And then the course is going to go up to 12. So then on this oscillator, the course is also going to be on 12. However, it's actually going to be a square oscillator for this one. And we're going to bring this volume up to negative 22 dB. 22.5 actually, so it's like right in the middle. Change the width to 0.755. All right, so make sure your filter is all the way 100% filter one and then zero dB for the volume. So we're actually going to use the SEM filter and our cutoff for the filter is 7,837. So go ahead and bring that down. And then we're going to bring the resonance up to 0 0.788 and the volume is going to stay the same. Everything else is going to stay the same here. So then next, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the envelope here. And this is where the sound really starts to take shape. So right now we're at, you know, it's kind of still basic. Um, nowhere really close to where we're trying to head. So for the attack on the envelope, it's going to be two milliseconds. Um, for the decay, bring it up to 904 milliseconds. All right, for the sustain, we're gonna bring that down to zero. For the release, we're gonna bring that up to 589. All right, for the attack curve, this is just gonna kind of round it off a little bit and we're gonna bring that to negative 7.84. And for the decay curve, we're gonna leave that at four. Leave this at poly keyboard, ADR mode. All right, so we're gonna head up to the unison, but before I let you hear what it sounds like so far. Um, so we're getting there, we're getting there. So the unison, we're gonna keep it at classic and we're gonna bring the voices to um, 3.94. And then we're gonna bring the detune to 1.49. And then the stereo is gonna be brought to 66.4. Another key part is we're gonna click on LFO1. And then we're going to head up here to find and we're gonna bring it up just a little bit to 0 0.02. And the reason we're doing this is because Analog synthesizers always have these slight pitch variations, and this is an attempt at kind of recreating that. We're going to keep this at a sine wave. Um, the symmetry, we're going to bring that to 0.372. And we're going to bring this to Hertz. We're going to bring it to 0.685 Hertz. We're going to bring the phase to three degrees. The fade's going to stay the same. Changes to poly keyboard. You need to keep it at unipolar. So here's where we're at. So 
so the final step is to add the reverb um, and personally I'd rather do this separately in a different VST so I can have more control over it however if you'd like to um, try the reverb out in pigments this is what you would do bring the dry wet up to 54 percent the input high pass is going to stay the same along with the um, input low pass is also going to stay the same now the damping is going to go to 0.9 the decay is going to go to 0.696 the pre-delay is going to stay the same. The size goes to 0.683. All right, so here's how it sounds. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you guys would like to see more. Let me know in the comment section below what recommendations you guys have for my channel, what you guys would like to see me create and design for later on. Just let me know.